What's up guys, Hinder the 12 here, back with another video, you already know the deal. Today I'm doing a video that is very, very important, something I talked about in my last stream, uh, something in that video that I think deserves its own separate video because I wanna get this information out to you guys as quickly as possible. Today, you already read the title, but today we're gonna to be talking about the EVGA step up and how you guys can turn one of these cards right here, which is an EVGA GeForce 210 into something like this, which is an a GeForce for the win 3 3080 Ti. It's not going to focus, but there we go, 3080 Ti. And like I said in that stream, if you don't have one of these on order or in your room waiting to be stepped up, you're slipping, bro. Especially if you're not in the queue or you, you really want a card, you should have one of these either on order or or through step up right now waiting in your room. So today I'm gonna get into how you guys can turn one of those into one of those and how about how long it'll take to do so. So before we get started, go ahead and get it out there. In the stream I mentioned some of the, um, basically the predictions, the times. We're looking at between two and four weeks average, but it can be slightly longer for most of the cars, the 3070, 3070 Ti, 3090. And to give you an even better example, I just got my step five email in today. Step five is the last step where basically you've paid for the car that you wanna get and you have to ship yours out. So it's basically the final step, you're ready, you're about to get your car basically once they accept yours. And I registered all three of the cars that I bought, those three that I just showed you on the 22nd of June and it is July 2nd. So it's been about 10 days and I just got my last final email. So come on guys, that's that's a that's an indicator for the 3070. For the 3090, I'm still waiting obviously for the, I have one for a 3080 Ti as well, still waiting, but those should be coming very soon. So let's go ahead and get into how you are gonna set that up. So basically, first thing you need is to buy a GT210. Um, it can be actually any card with a three year warranty according to the step up policy. I will have a link in the description below where you can read the whole policy for yourself. The only reason why I'm just recommending a 210 is because it's easy to get, it's cheap, it's not that uh, much of an investment and you can get them from pretty much anywhere for close to 50 bucks. Uh, sometimes you can see them for about 55, but they're usually around that same price. The store that I recommend you get it from is Adorama because that is the store that I purchased mine from and it's just easy. They ship pretty quickly and yeah, the prices aren't that bad. So you can go on Adorama right now. They are currently back ordered. They're coming soon though, it says. So they should be coming within the next couple of days, but you can go on Amazon and get it off of, and make sure it's from EVGA's official store. You can go on Amazon and you can also go through the uh, EVGA product registration page online. They'll give you a full list of stores that are uh, that are compatible with the site. So you wanna get your hands on a GT210 for about 50 bucks, not that much, and make sure you hold on to the invoice because you will need that for the step up process. Next step is you're gonna to need to register the product once you get it in hand. So obviously when you get it in hand, you will grab one and the serial number will be right here. You can see the serial number on the side. You wanna put that number into the website on the product registration page and go ahead and enter that. And then after you enter it, you should see another page asking you for uh, the place that you bought it from and the date that you purchased it. You wanna go ahead and fill out that information. Adorama will not be listed on the little list of pages, but there is a section that says other. There's one of the points that says other. Hit that and then it'll give you another box type telling you to type in the name of the store. Just put in Adorama. Put in the date that you purchased it and go ahead and register that product. Once you register the product, you should have a separate page that's gonna have a list of all your products. It'll be evga.com slash community slash my products. I'll have it in the description below. You'll go on that, hit view details under the product that you bought, and then you'll be able to see all the step up information. Through there, you can go ahead and start the queue. So you wanna hit a couple prompts, and then it'll go ahead and walk you through the steps on how to step it up. And it'll ask you how much you paid for your product, and it'll give you a price breakdown of how much you're expecting to pay for the card that you want. And and there's a specific list of cards you can step up to. It's not every single card. You can't do Kingpins, you can't do Hydro Coppers, but you can do 3090 for the win threes, 3080 Ti for the win threes, um, 3070s, 3080s. Now, which card would I recommend? Uh, really the one that you want other than a 3080, man, because the 3080 is the longest one. It's gonna take a very long time. I would not recommend it. I would go ahead and get a 3070 Ti or a 3080 Ti or something like that and keep it pushing, man. Um, and like I said before in the beginning of the video, 3070 took me, I think it took like six days for the first email to come in, but right now it's been 10 days and I just got my final email and I have to go ship it. I'm gonna ship it tomorrow. So 
if you want to do that just because you see me and i got it in 10 days if that sounds good to you you can do a 3070 um you can also do a 3080 ti or a 3090 those are highly sought after in the chat we're always talking about those um but yeah those are those are good picks uh there's also the 3060 which some people ask me about in the stream we don't really know the estimate of that because not that many people are going for that specific card but that is an option as well and it shouldn't take too long and you can always switch queues if you waited a month or three weeks and you're kind of feeling eerie you can always switch queues so once you have that set up you basically just wait and you're going to get your email after a couple of weeks and once you get that email, you just follow the steps. First thing you have to do is uh, make sure your invoice is uploaded. So I'll have a picture of my invoice uh, on the screen right now so you can see kind of what it'll look like. Um, basically grab that and upload that invoice before the step three, I think step two asks you to upload it, but don't wait until the end to upload the invoice. Just go ahead and upload it and it'll help you with the queue time. And then once you have that done, your next email should be basically prompting you to pay for the card. And you just go ahead and fill out that. And then very, very soon, once you buy the card within the next like 24 to 48 hours, you should be getting your step five or your final prompt asking you to start shipping the card. And that's simple. It's that simple, man. And once you ship it there, they'll approve it, make sure everything's squared off, and then they'll ship you your product that you've already paid for. And it's a very straightforward process. And it's a lot quicker than going through the queues or waiting or even having to do all these drops. I know Best Buy has been deteriorated over the past couple of weeks, they or past months, really. Uh, their drops have been getting worse. Zotac prices are going through the roof right now. They're costing more than EVGA stuff. Um, bundles are expensive. I know how hard it is, guys. And this is one of the best ways to get it. They're probably going to patch this sooner or later. I would not I would not <laughs> wait too long to do this. I'm pretty sure they're going to go in their policy and look like, okay, people are stepping up two tens. We need to fix this. Either that or the queues are going to get filled. One of the two is going to happen. So it's very much so in your favor to go ahead and get this started. So I recommend it to a lot of people in the chat to do this, but I'm recommending to you guys. I figured I should make this video for you guys and put it out there. And like I said before, you can turn one of these $50 GPUs into something like this, which is a 3080 Ti. This has been sitting in my room for a couple of days. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I'm trying to get a 3090, so I'm gonna use this as collateral. But yeah, come on y'all, y'all can, this is possible. It's definitely possible. It's not out of your reach, especially with things like this. And that's pretty much it. I just want to go ahead and make this quick video for you guys. Put that out there. If you need any help with this process, comment down below. I will help you out. And hopefully throughout the video, I included enough screenshots and stuff like that to make things clear enough for you guys. And with that being said, um, Nerd Speak Discord is in the description below. You can go in there and at me. You can comment it down below. If you enjoyed this video, got any help from it, hit that like button, man. I'd appreciate it. And always, if you want more content like this, if you need more GPU content, more Windows help, Steam help, stuff like that, subscribe to the channel, man. I make videos like this all the time. With that being said, I'm Henry the 12, and I'll catch you guys later, man. Peace.